the big story, George Russell changing out of the Williams into the Mercedes. Going to be quite a wild ride, no doubt about it. And... As you've seen from that intro, we're doing something that most F1 fans, including myself, hope will happen in the actual world of Formula 1 sooner rather than later. We're putting George Russell in the Mercedes seat to replace Valtteri Bottas, who, let's be honest, isn't as good as George Russell. He, he was outperformed by George Russell in Sakia. And after the Hungarian Grand Prix, I can't see Toto Wolff giving him a seat for next season. Um, but I don't think it was necessarily just down to Hungary. I think that I think he's lost that a long time ago. A couple of things to note before we start. I'm on Xbox, which means, unfortunately, that the actual George Russell is still a part of the game, which means that we can't take his number 63, as you can probably see on the car reveal there. Our number is 36, which is just 63 in reverse. Yeah, so we do have two George Russells on the grid, which will be a bit confusing, but hopefully in the Mercedes we really shouldn't see him on the grid or at any point in the race unless we're coming to lap him. And the last thing to mention just before we jump in to the actual video is me being extremely impatient and stupid, I forgot to change the session length before I jumped into FP1, meaning we have a five lap race of Bahrain. So yeah, um, that's not the last time I make a mistake in this episode, <laughs> but anyway, let's jump into Q1. So jumping into Q1 then, let's have a look at the final lap, we're going to sit on board with the lap then. So red stripes off tyre, George Russell, Mercedes, sick here, we've seen that before. Fantastic qualifying from the actual George Russell in Sakia. Second on the grid. Taking Valtteri Bottas on the line into turn one. What a man. Heartbreaking that race though. Absolutely heartbreaking. Okay, so here we go. Start on the final lap. Eighth gear, DRS. It's nail turn one. We nail turn one. Good exit. Sweep up the left hander. And across into the right hander. Ooh, bit aggressive. Lost a couple attempts there. The car in front there, it's Nikita Mazepin. Okay, let's just hope we don't catch him. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to get caught up in the dirt, yeah, and we're going to struggle to get an actual lap time in. Okay, ooh, got caught on the curve of death then. Cool, that was probably the best case scenario, to be honest. Didn't go into the wall, but we are very close to Mazepin here. Hopefully, he's going to move over. But he might be on a fire. Is he on a fire? Is he hurting? Uh, it looks like he's on a fire. Okay, we need to try and can we get him into this corner? No, we can't. Okay, let's break. And for some reason, I, I tried to overtake him and I hit him. Um, we go off a bit, so I'm just going to quit with the damage. Thank we didn't have any damage on the car. But yeah, we do back out with this lap. Um, so we've crawled on the rest of straight just to harvest a bit. So here we go. Harvested, we come down now, and we're on the same set of tyres and we're going to set a lap. So Q1 lap then. So, turn one, we are, we nail turn one even more, that get a nice exit, nice smooth exit, and we're temp and a half up. And we'll just skip to the end of the lap then. <laughs> temp and a half up, and we'll just set our Q, oh sorry, we'll, no, we'll skip to where Maz pin hit, sorry, I forgot how I edited that, but that's poor for me. And there's Nikita in front, in front of us again, but this time we're going to use him to our advantage, and we're just going to gain a bit of a toe from him as best we can and as you can see in the top right we were currently six seconds up on our time from last the last lap because we obviously we stopped on that straight to essentially just harvest our ARS again and we come across across the line and it is P1 four hundredths ahead of Lewis Hamilton <laughs> and we've had and that was on a war no sorry for, no it's P2 four hundredths behind Lewis sorry my apologies okay so Q2 standard my team brain go out on the mediums. Better, better strategy. But, as you uh, as I'd have mentioned before, we forgot to change the session length. So, we've got five lap race on mediums. If we, if this is our fastest time, I didn't realise this at the time, obviously. 
and to I wouldn't have done it. So we come across the line to end this final lap. And it's a 127.5 and we're P3. So simulate all that and we get through to Q2. On mediums. Like an idiot. Okay, so first final lap on the soft compound tire in Q3. We're on the mediums, so we need a good time. We need pole position ideally so we can get a good start and we just hold off the rest of the cars behind us thankfully it's only five laps so if we do get a good start we'll be able to stay there so on our flying lap and Carlos Sainz has just come out of the pits and we try and get past him around the outside we would have lost a couple of attempts there but we can try and make that back up on our next flying lap thankfully so down the, down the right hander and it's good it's good good exit perfect corner right we're coming down to the left the difficult downhill braking and we have done it done it quite well went squirmish on the exit keep kept it nice and sensible nice and composed through there nice and straight now we've got to nail this braking point kind of was that a corner cut i'd say so thankfully the game didn't think so go right go right go right don't oh we've hit the curve and we've am around great back to the box okay q3 lap here we go five minutes of the session left set this get back set another one up on our last set this is still the same set that we set so this is this is the set that we span with so the rears will be in the bin right so come across the line around, around the last corner across the line and where are we we are P2, we are two temps off. So, the final Q3 lap on brand new set of softs. And as you can see in the top right, there's five seconds remaining. So, we end the qualifying in P2, as you can see in the wheel. P2, that's not ideal. Well, let's gotta hope for a good race start, haven't race, we? No more testing, no more practice. This is the real deal. And it's make or break here at round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. So here we are in 2021 at the start of another Formula One World Championship. It all begins here. Mercedes looking to retain their hold on the title. Red Bull seeking to secure their position as the main contender for that title. Ferrari no doubt hoping for a fresh start following their difficulties last year. And elsewhere on the grid, the prospect of some really exciting battles, including between the newly rebranded Aston Martin and Alpine teams. Lots to discuss then with Anthony Davidson, who's joined me in the commentary box for today's event. It's good to be back, Crofty. Let's hope for some good racing today. We can't know at this point how competitive these teams are relative to each other, but hopefully nobody is able to run and hide. We want to see these drivers pushing to the limit all the way to the chequered flag. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position and Russell completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Perez, Lando Norris and Ricardo, Leclerc, Sainz, Vettel and Lance Stroll, Sonoda, Gasly, Fernando Alonso and Ocon. Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher, and George Russell, Latifi, and Nikita Mazepin. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do, don't let me down. So, race day. I'm just having a quick look at the race director. Everyone is two by two, and then the hash ruin it. Of course, they do. But yeah, I thought that was quite fun. Everyone two by two. Okay, so on the medium tyre, we need a good start. And I'm infamous for getting awful starts on my team this year. Let's see if there's any difference. 
Tonight's out and away we go, and George Russell gets an excellent start from the line there. That's outrageous. I don't know how I've done that. Like that Jim we got Jim we first attempt as well. Oh <laughs> my life first attempt. So navigates turn one. Perfect. No one no one made any contact. All good. Hamilton second, Verstappen third, Perez fourth, Norris fifth. In that very quick McLaren. That McLaren car in this game is outrageously quick. But nice first sector. Held it well. Still P1. It's what we need. So coming down right hand there, no one's gonna do anything stupid. No, okay. So turn one. On lap two. Coming across now. That's good good corner. Went in maybe a little bit too deep there. But we've gotta try and defend we've got to try and take these kind of defensive lines and all proxims out Hamilton's coming down on our inside. Uh, and we've just we've held that around the outside. Yeah, good defending from Georgia. Very good defending. But yeah we we have we've been we're having to take these weird not weird lines, but more defensive lines because they are on a faster tyre. And it is hindering our race a bit, but if we drove the racing line normally, they'd be able to slipstream us so much more. That's what I've been doing. That's why I had to, had to race really weirdly. And come down to the left hand there. Oh, oh, Hamilton tried it down the inside. Let's have another look at that. So, we're well, well, having a look at Lewis Hamilton. What's he got? coming down the inside into a gap that didn't exist? Is that my fault? Maybe. Have another look on his on board. No, I'm not gonna say that's my fault. I think that's just gonna be like he went for a gap that doesn't exist, just like he did in Silverstone. So maybe his AI is coded perfectly. Right, so let's so on to lap the end of lap four now. On to lap five. Skip two laps because nothing happened. And as you can see, he's Hamlet bombing down our inside. He overtakes us. So we're gonna try and make a late late move. And we've outbroke ourselves, but we've just we're alongside of Hamilton, and we've kept ahead of him, got our elbows out, and we've stayed ahead. Fantastic defending. Let's have another look at this from Hamilton's point of view. We dive down there, we hinder his exit of the corner, which was good, but we don't make any contact, and it's a clean move. Very. I just had to make sure we didn't make contact. That's why I had to rewind. So now we're just going to hopefully just have an, a nice cruise to the finish. There's fireworks out already, preempting our George Russell's maiden Formula 1 victory. Well, I hope that doesn't jinx us, touch wood, but it shouldn't. We're a second ahead of Max, everything's all, everything's all sound. But yeah, down, downhill left-hander. And we get a bit squeamish. Oh, we get a bit. We go on the power too early. The car, the back end steps out. We have to save it. In fact, Max Verstappen's down low. Max Verstappen's taking the lead. You can win that place back. Oh, too right. We can, Jeff. Good move from George Russell to hold it down the right. Down, hold it out. Uh, hold it around the outside. Don't, don't go on the curb. Nothing stupid. Brake nice and early. Take the corner well. 1.5 seconds from Max Verstappen. And that all but. Ensures <laughs> one more corner to go. One more corner. Don't say anything stupid yet. Navigated perfectly. Straight line to the finish. And that is George Russell's. George Russell is a Grand Prix winner for the first time in Formula One. More of that, please, George. More of that, please. Good start to the season. Very good start to the season there. Uh, take. First place, Hamilton third. Step one towards the driver's title. What a race! What a race! So next episode, I will. Be, I'm obviously going to change it to a 25% race, no, a 50% race, just so it's a bit more, you know, raceable. But yeah, there we are. P1, top, top of the standards. But anyway, thanks for watching. Big one, like the video. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next episode. Peace.